Thank you for joining us for All Things Real Estate. Now here are your hosts, Brad Avergon and Gary Kelly. Hi, and welcome to All Things Real Estate here on WCRN, WMCT, and Westboro Community Television as well. I am Gary Kelly with Lamaki Realty, and I am joined as always by the illustrious Brad Avergon with Fairway Independent Mortgage. How are you, Gary? I'm good. How are you? I'm well, thank you. I'm well. I'm still in the throes of moving. You are. You haven't. You haven't unpacked and settled in and hung up well, that. It's, uh, it's funny that you say that sign. because <laughs> the the last article, which becomes a show that I did, got a lot of positive feedback from people saying, you know, that's really the way it happens. You know, you really captured it. It really is a pain in the rear. <laughs> okay, and uh, you know, as I as I've gotten, I, I what was happening for me is it was taking a long time to pack. And I finally said to my kids, please come over, please help me. And they did. What they did was they took boxes. They went over, they took drawers and whatnot, threw it in the boxes, sealed the box and it's done. So I was able to get the house in the market and all that. However, when I get where I'm living now, those boxes, I have no idea what's inside. And my colleague Sue is, insane with me over that because she's like had you packed your own boxes you would know what's in the boxes and my view <laughs> is if i had packed my own boxes i wouldn't have gotten out of the house yet uh it was just going on too long and so you know i'm still gonna go with moving as a hassle but what what one of the things i observe about it as i go through it is that doing things locally makes a big difference you know, if you if you need a mortgage, you could jump on a rocket, no question about it. But the um, you know the, the the rocket can be fast and loud, but it's not local, okay. And so when you need to see someone, when you need to go in with a document, when you need to say I need help with this, in my opinion, it's easier to deal with someone locally as opposed to out of state. Did I say Detroit? <laughs> I, I would agree, Gary. I mean, I just think across the board, you know, when you're when you're dealing with someone locally, there's an accountability that is there, right? I mean, if you're talking to me, you know, I'm a local guy. I we can meet face to face. We can meet at your local coffee shop. We can we may be dealing online because it's easier. We may be dealing via Zoom. We may be dealing via email. But there's a human being here. If you're dealing with a company in the middle of the country, there's no accountability. If they are able to deliver on time, great. If they're not, great. They don't care. They, it, there's, for me, it's about building a reputation locally um, with my clients, with realtors like you, with with buyers. And I think the same is true with with moving companies. I think it's the same is true with you, with your clients as well. You know, you're a local guy. You know the market. You know what's happening locally. If they're dealing with some realtor from outside the area who doesn't know this marketplace, um, I, you know, are they really getting their best level of service? Are they really, uh, you know, you know, are, are, at the end of the day, are, is it going to be a smooth transaction? I would question that. I would venture to say not necessarily. I would say that that local ability, whether it's a mover, or a realtor, or a mortgage guy, I think there's a piece of an accountability in there that maybe doesn't come out. It, it, it doesn't advertise all over the internet, but I think it's really important. I, I did a closing with a client who went with a mortgage company that happened to specialize in U.S. veterans. You know, thank you for your service, that kind of stuff. And I would tell you that for insurance, they may be excellent. Uh, but when it came to a mortgage, it was horrible. Absolutely horrible. Like I'm calling them every day for updates. And I, I don't tend to do that um, unless a loan's, you know, or, or a loan's in trouble or the buyer is stretching too far. Uh, it, was, it was very much a touch and go situation. And it shouldn't be. I mean, here's a here's a here's a guy that you know spent time in the military. I mean, legitimate in the military, foreign country, all that stuff. And 
he, he's, he's obviously loyal to that company, but it didn't seem like they were on, on this topic, like they were loyal to him. And I, I thought that that was unfortunate. Yeah, I think that it's a different type of a business plan and, and, and not to take away from it. I think it's very, I think it works. It's functional, right? If you're a national lender that advertises on the internet, you're all over the place. You're going to get certain people that are going to click on that and go forward. And in this particular case, this guy was a veteran and this particular company specialized in veterans. But it's it's kind of like, you know, throwing a giant fishing net out there at, from a business standpoint and seeing who you catch, right? But and then you process those fish as you take them in. But it's really right. more of a processing thing versus when you, when you and I are working, I think there's more of a focus on the individual client because not only do we do we have an accountability, right? We're meeting that client in face to face. Um, we are that client is 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 very important to us because not only do we want to make that process smooth and positive for them. But we want them to tell all their friends. We are building our business plan is built on referrals from that client versus right. the national companies. It's a it's a shotgun approach. We shoot it out there, this big net. We see what we catch, and then we process that. That's and one of the really things that I find um, I'm going to say annoying when someone reaches out and they say I I got this interest rate from your mortgage person or whomever. And they say, well, you know, I was on the internet the other night and I found this place that's offering even lower mortgage rates. Um, you know, what do you think? And, you know, I, I don't, at some level, I don't care who my client goes with for mortgages. That's their decision. Uh, I try not to fiddle with that. We have a couple of people that we prefer to work with because we work with them a lot and they know how we like to work and vice versa. But if someone comes back and says, I want to do East Timbuktu mortgage. Okay. Um, you're on your own with that. I mean, you don't dump the client, you still work with them and whatnot, but I have no way to influence anything at East Timbuktu mortgage. I just don't. And that becomes, that becomes a, a concern for me. Sometimes it works out and is flawless. Um, I, I had someone that came to me from um, one of the really big national banks that were, you know, back in the day, too big to fail. And I was very concerned with their ability to close the loan um, based on other transactions. Well, it turned out this was a multi-million dollar purchase and they were dealing with the private bank part of that company. And, you know, the service was spectacular, really was. And then shortly thereafter, we do another transaction, same company, and it just wasn't as uh, as smooth. Uh, I'm not gonna say it was bad, we closed and all that stuff, but it just wasn't as smooth. I think, it, you know, people buy from people at the end of the day. Yeah, I would agree with you. And I, I think that that's, I, that, I think that's really important. And I think it's something that sometimes gets missed with all the, you know, the massive digital marketing that goes out there and such. And it just gets missed sometimes. People try to, I think sometimes when people are trying to make a decision, they're trying to narrow the list, right? They, 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 they everybody's, they're getting advice from everybody, right? Their uncle, this, they try this company, try this person. Blah, 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 blah. And I think they're trying to narrow the list down. I think sometimes that person to person accountability, that trust factor, I think it's under undervalued. And I think when people just go with their knee jerk, whether it's, you know, like a national lender or it's it can be a national moving company. Right. You're, you know, let's take us out of the picture. It could be a national moving company versus a local moving company. When you got that local moving company, they're trying to build their reputation. They're trying to get, you know, get that that locality. National moving company, again, it's 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 based on a shotgun approach. Well, I went I like went that. with local resources for some of that. I did not sell my own condo. I chose to use a colleague to sell my condo, and that had to do with liability. I had lived in the condo for 9 years. I didn't want to be tripped up and tied up in litigation because I didn't say that a faucet leak, by the way, none of the faucets leak. Um, but that that kind of thing is where I use someone else in the office. We obviously spend time on pricing. We price it a little lower than we thought it would go for to generate activity. And we did, and we sold the house after two days. 
on the market. Some people might say, oh, that, that's bad. If someone's looking to move into your house and it's sold in two days and they had to sell their out. Uh, no, we'd work all that out. Uh, that wasn't a concern. I did use a local mover. Nothing against the big, large movers. This is a guy, his name's Brian McKean. He's out of Maynard. Um, and he, he comes with a truck and a couple of kids and you know, they, they, they move stuff. Now I would tell you by in kind of a backwards way, I've had the, the, the national movers where they come in and they put padding on every step and, you know, they, they, there's this guy had the Peloton that took Peloton three hours to get up my stairs out in his truck in 15 minutes. Just a different way of doing things. So he didn't beat my place up too badly. <laughs> uh, by the way, it's Brian MacGyver. I, I said Brian McKean. That's a, a, a guy I used to work with. But uh, Brian MacGyver out of Maynard is the, is the mover. You know where I got my boxes? You can get boxes a lot of different places, Brad. I hate it when people get boxes from some of the big box stores because they don't hold up well. Uh, ironic that the big box stores, the boxes don't hold up well. But I went to U-Haul. Uh, you know, U-Haul sells boxes. And what's interesting with that is if you take back boxes that you haven't used, they'll buy them back from you. Hmm. I think that that's wonderful. Uh, also use an attorney that's local. You know, there are things around Worcester that are just different than the rest of the state. Who pays for what specifically? Right. I'm sure you've seen this a zillion times. Yeah. Um, you know, a, a non-local uh, attorney may not know about that. And, you know, that's the kind of stuff I don't want to have to focus on. I need to have people that know what they're doing, have them go in, do their job. Uh, you know, the Patriots, you know, Bill Belichick, do your job. That's what I needed. I also did um, local self-storage. I, I used a place over, it happens to be in Westboro. Um, and yeah, it couldn't have been easier. You pull your car into the building, you load your stuff onto a little cart, you move it to the storage container, and you unload it. That's fine. Other things... Other things were interesting. Um, changing my driver's license and car registration. That was almost ridiculously easy to do. Okay, you log on to the Commonwealth's website. You say who you are. You give them a code off your uh, registration. And the rest happens pretty quickly. I'm also a notary. And in the process of moving, my notary commission was expiring. So might as well use the new address which happens to be in a different county than I was in. Uh, as it turns out, the, the, the Commonwealth sends out your, your uh, expiration notice or your renewal notice, depending upon how you want to look at it, rather than you being able to get a head start on it. So you get the stuff, you fill it out, it goes back into the Commonwealth, and then they say you've been appointed and you've got to come in and take an oath. Okay, that's probably not too bad. So you saddle up, you drive into Boston, you walk across Boston, you go to one Ashburnham, which by the way, is not the one Ashburnham park next to the state house. <laughs> it's a 20 story building down the street. You go in and every time you go in these buildings, it's full, full on security. They, 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 every, all your keys, everything into the x-ray machine, you get all through and they say, well, where are you going? Well, I'm going to this location. Well, sorry, they don't do that without an appointment. Really? Okay. So the security guard is very nice. He says, why don't you call the number here? See if they can squeak you in today. Okay. So you call the number and they, no, the earliest we're booking right now is April. So there's a way, if you pay a fee, there's a way for them to do that locally, okay? And I happen to go to the Northboro town clerk and absolutely marvelous experience. The woman was funny. Um, um, we joked a little bit. We, when we came to taking the oath, we got serious for a second. You know, I state your name. Okay, I state your name. <laughs> um but it's but it was it was fun and I got the job done. 
but then you have to order the no notary stuff. So it's multi-step process that just takes extra time. No question about it. Did you have any of that when you were moving, Brad? Because you didn't move. You moved fairly recently. Yeah, well, we we moved in the last uh, few years, and um, we did use a local person, and that was terrific. And 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 I and I I had had experience where I actually uh, had used a national mover once before. And things didn't go well. I mean, I I honestly thought it was like, oh, I'm going to get these guarantees. If they break a mirror, it's all good. And da 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 da. And it, <laughs> I was disappointed because because they they're really good at contracts. And in the fine print somewhere, it says, yes, if we break a mirror, you'll get a penny for every dollar the mirror was worth. And I'm like, I, you know, you know, you you know, I would have just rather they be a little more careful and. Uh, this group was great. They came in, they moved everything. They, they, they took it apart. They had to take, you know, dresses apart, beds apart. And uh, they were great. And they reassembled everything. We had hey, Brad. Yeah. Let's stop it taking it apart. We'll pick it up in the second half. We'll put it together in the second half, Gary. Stay tuned. More All Things Real Estate coming right up.